Hi, in this problem we're going to evaluate this definite integral. We have x plus 1 over x with respect to x, and we're going from 1 to e. So basically all we have to do is integrate each piece and then use the limits of integration. So for this first piece, it's simply x to the first power, so we use the power rule. So we drop the integral sign, we drop the dx, and basically you just add 1 to the 1 here, so you get x squared, and then you divide by 2. So you add 1, you get 2, and then you just divide by the same result. For this one here, there's a special formula that says that whenever you have 1 over x, you're always going to get the natural log of the absolute value of x. Okay, so we just use two different formulas. The formula says that this is equal to this, and that this is equal to this because you add 1 and divide by the result. Now you can put a line here, or you can put a bracket. I prefer to use two brackets. And then our lower limit of integration is one, so that goes here. And then our upper limit is e, so that goes here. So the rule says that you first plug in the top number. So you plug in the top number for all the x's. So it'll be e squared over two, okay? Plus the natural log of the absolute value of e. That's just putting the e where all the x's are. Then minus parentheses, and now you put the 1 where all the x's are, so it'd be 1 squared over 2 plus the natural log of the absolute value of 1, right? Pretty simple, and again, it's just following the steps. You put the e where the x is, you subtract, then you put the 1 where the x is. So this is equal to e squared over 2 plus the natural log of e is 1 minus, and then let's just distribute this 1 half here, or the minus 1 here. There's an invisible minus 1. So times that's gonna give us minus one half. Natural log of one is zero, so I'm not gonna write it, so this is zero. So this is simply going to be e squared over two. One minus one half is one half, so plus one half. If you want to be fancy, we can write it all over the number two, so we can write this as e squared plus one over two, and that would be the value of this definite integral. I hope this video has been helpful to someone in the world. Good luck.